We're here at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2014 in Busan in the Republic of Korea, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Monique Morrow, who is CTO of the Services Organization for Cisco. Monique, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Well, it's uh, great to be here. Thank you. I also want to state a, a great thank you to the um, ITU for uh, bringing this issue forward on behalf of uh, all women in technology as well as the uh, UN Women's Organization. I think this is a great opportunity and platform to have this level of a discussion. So absolutely passionate, as you well know, about this topic. Because we're going to be talking about the, the, the Gemtech Awards, that which are, are happening actually tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, the, the 28th. And uh, I wanted to ask you, why are you passionate about gender equality and mainstreaming for women in technology? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, we've had women pioneers uh, before us, and we have uh, we have those who are actually taking a great, a great uh, deal of risk now. And uh, of course, uh, we want to set the the tone for the future. Until we have parity 50/50, uh, this will always be an issue, and it's a global issue. Uh, uh, throughout the world. And so what we talk about, what I want to see is no glass ceiling. What I want to see is a pipeline that we we keep uh, forward uh, for women in technology and also not only for girls studying technology, but also women who are actually entering the workforce. And, uh, you know, this is I, I can't stress enough how important this issue is for me personally because it touches me personally, but also for all women in technology. Um, I think we need more advocates uh, in this space. How uh, achievable is that? I mean, could you uh, provide us an example, for example, of what private industry uh, needs to do better, for example, at Cisco? Sure, and I think this is a great example. As you well know, uh, Cisco is a tremendous advocate for STEM, uh, as well as for girls in ICT. We have our network academy, so we have an external view. We also have a CTO uh, who happens to be a woman. Uh, her name is Padma Shri Warrior, as well as a CMO. Um, her name is Blair Christie, as well as our CIO, who happens to be Re Rebecca Jacoby. But here's the issue. I think what we need to do is not only talk about what we're uh, advocating externally, but what we're, what we're doing, what we need to do in internally. So here's the opportunity. We have uh, at Cisco women in science and engineering. We have women in technology. But what is more unique, and I'm so happy to speak about that, is men uh, for inclusion, Cisco men for inclusion, Cisco who, men who are going where no male allies have ever gone before. Because this is the power of the end. We need more males to, to advocate for women. We need more males to be part of that in terms of changing not only the talent force where we can become a, a great uh, uh, company to work, work at, but also the culture. Because there's a lot of bias that we need to pay attention to. Just because a woman is quiet in the room doesn't mean that she's not less intellectual. Or just because a, a woman doesn't take on a risk assignment doesn't mean that she's uh, non capable. So we want to have, what I'm so proud of is that now you have Cisco men who are actually looking at metrics for inclusion and they're looking at the next five years of, of uh, breaking down the barriers within Cisco uh, to, to make it very, very uh, a force for women to as partners for opportunity and for women to look towards men for reciprocity. I think this is great. And I also want to state one thing is uh, the former U.S. Secretary of the United States, um, Madeleine Albright, had stated uh, there is a special place in hell for women who don't help women, but I will say there's a special place in heaven for men who help women. It's a great positive attitude. <laughs> I'm very much uh, uh, on that side. I mean, I've got two daughters, age nine and 11, and they're gonna be coming up through the workforce. I mean, how long do you think this will take? You know, it's a great question because we're talking about 50-50 at the end of the day. I mean, this is a world uh, challenge. I always, I always talk about the um, Hall of Fame and the Walk of Shame. And uh, I know that there are, uh, we have millennials coming into the workforce. We, we can look at all kinds of, of, of opportunities to change. And I always stated that uh, it's no longer an issue when it's really in, in, in our ingrained or in our DNA. And where countries have platforms that are encouraging more and more women to go into technology. And actually, uh, we have companies that are actually advocating women in technology in universities at the same, uh, at the same token, advocating women to, to pursue perhaps a, a career in technology or in research. You know, um, I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm cautiously optimistic that there will be change. But remember, it's all about 50-50 at the end of the day. 
Cisco is a, is a silver partner of the Gemtech Awards. Uh, uh, wh wh why is it important for Cisco to be uh, supporting these awards? Well, as my uh, colleague Dr. Robert Pepper could not be here uh, for this interview today, uh, Cisco believes very strongly uh, in, in, this, in this space about STEM and about uh, really advocating uh, for women and girls in, in technology. And the ITU has served as a wonderful platform to do so, as well as United Nations. So we, are, we have no uh, issue to, to, to be a sponsor, and we, we'd like to also pursue our sponsorship moving forward. We think this is a, a great platform. It's, a, for, for us, a, a no-brainer at the end of the day. Monique Morrow, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much.